a barber shop is its own world. So how long have you been coming to this barber shop? Uh, since since I was born, my dad owns the barber shop. Um, I know every I have like a relationship with everybody in this barber shop, even the whole block. For some men, it's a community. Every time you have something important in your life that happens, you go to your barber, you get a shape up, you get a haircut. Where people can catch up, look sharp, and read. Before there were books here, what would the kids do? Well, kids just come, uh, just hang out, watch TV, go to sleep. You know, not say anything or be on their phone playing with the games. That's why Alvin Irby started Barbershop Books to create an innovative space where kids can use their free time to pick up a book. In 2015, 64% of fourth grade students in the U.S. were behind in reading. But what happens around grade four is there's a transition, right? So up to grade four, you're learning to read. After grade four, you're reading to learn. Sometimes they just don't have the right environment that kind of cultivates their reading identity, you know, that they would want to read um, for fun, which is so important. With Barbershop Books, Alvin hopes to encourage reading outside the classroom so students learn that they can read anywhere. I think we'll make a change because it'll make other people think, oh, books aren't just for home or school. Today, there are 100 Barbershop Book locations in several states across the country. My goal is to put child-friendly reading spaces in every black barbershop in America and, and any other barbershop that has kids in it, really. Russell Smith, the owner of Big Russ Barbershop in Harlem, has noticed the change in his shop. It's, it's a big difference. Now, you know, when some of the regulars come in, sit down and wait to get a haircut, the first thing they do is grab a book. Turning the page towards a brighter future. I think that it made a like change in their ways, oh, I'm gonna come to the barbershop and read a book today. I think I want people to take away the idea that reading isn't something that should be limited to a classroom or to a homework assignment, but really it's something that you can do anywhere at any time. It's something that you should do anywhere at any time. Ariel Hickson, Channel One News.